A local golfer gets a real life mulligan after collapsing on the course this week. Others out on the course came to his aid. News 3's Jessica Arb talked to them today about the save and what they're encouraging others to do. The irons are hot at Odana Golf Course as they were Tuesday when the temperature soared. Ken Hovind was out with friends Larry Claggett, Ted Bellistrary, and Greg Polster just starting a noon hour round when they see a man down. As they were putting on the first green, it's lucky the group even saw the down golfer through the trees on the ninth fairway. So we uh, go to investigate and uh, thinking it might be heat stroke or something and uh, we arrive and there's no no pulse, no breathing. 911, what is the address of the emergency? Hi, we're Odana Golf Course. Is the golfer down on hole number nine? Hoven came to the golfer's side to start CPR. 30 years ago, I had CPR training, but evidently everything has changed since then. Now it's uh, there's no breath. It's all compressions, which I did not know. With Polster on the phone, he was about to learn. Okay, listen carefully, and I'll tell you how to do chest compressions. Okay. He's, this guy's doing. It. Okay. Then you know how to do these, right? Tell him to pump the chest hard and fast at least twice per second and two inches deep. Keep, keep doing the chest compressions. And do this 600 times and, or until help can take over, okay? Count out loud so I can count with you. He was reading the cadence of my compressions and I was getting coaching over the phone of, of the rate I should be at and uh, to not stop even if he's trying to breathe. The tense five minutes before an ambulance arrived have taught the group a lesson that the fire department has been trying to drive home. People die and we need to be ready to help and give them a survivable chance. And a little training can go a long ways. A long way toward a feeling that can only be described like this. Pretty damn good. Because <laughs> um, he was he was down for the count. I didn't think I didn't think he was coming back to be honest. So when you know, we talk about saving his life, I truly think that's what happened. So it was very rewarding. The guys all say they plan to re-up their training and officially learn compression-only CPR. Meanwhile, the golfer they saved was said to be up and talking to paramedics on his way to the hospital. He is in good condition and remains in the hospital tonight. Great story. Yeah, no kidding. Something it's we amazing. try to teach every year. <laughs> yeah, so. we do teach it. Something it's essential to know. All right, Jess, thanks.